hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can secure kali linux by installing and enabling the fi the firewall now the firewall we're going to be working with is the ufw firewall or the uncomplicated firewall and i'm going to be running most of the commands on the terminal so let's go ahead and uh, look at the commands here the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the ufw firewall which is the front end to IP tables. So the first thing is to make sure the firewall is installed. We can do sudo ufw status, put in the password. And in our case, we see that it is ins installed and it's active. And we see some of the rules that are configured here. Now, if it wasn't installed, the command to install it is sudo apt install ufw. And that and that would install it once you have it installed if it wasn't enabled you can do sudo ufw enable that would enable it the next step is to set the, the rules now there's different rules we can set uh, for the firewall let's start with the, some of the default rules one thing you can do is you can deny all incoming traffic and enable or allow all outgoing traffic you can do sudo ufw default deny incoming and what this command does it's that what this command is going to do is going to deny any any traffic that's coming into your system from the outside and if you want to allow all traffic that's originating from your system going to the outside world you can do sudo ufw default allow outgoing outgoing now that we have the those rules added you can add additional rules specific for some services you want to access on this system say for instance you want to access you want to be able to access ssh services since we already denied all incoming traffic we have to specify the specific services that uh, are allowed to be accessed from the outside world and uh, let's say we are allowing ssh services to be accessed we can use sudo we can do sudo ufw allow ssh you can do the same thing if you are running a server a web server you can do http https to allow those services okay let's move on here if there is any specific ports that are customized or custom ports for some services and you want to allow access to that as well you can do sudo ufw allow and then the port let's say you have port 3000 and it's a tcp port you can put that and then press en enter and that would allow access to that specific service now, another thing we can do is we can en enable logging which allows us to monitor the log which allows us to monitor logs related to the ufw firewall now the command to enable logging is a sudo ufw logging on and now logging is enabled now if you wanted to check the status if you want to see more details as far as the status of the firewall is concerned you can do sudo ufw status and then you can add verbose verbose here and that should list the rules you have uh, for instance right now we are seeing the default deny incoming and allow outgoing that we configured we also seeing the the three allow rules that are showing that it's allowing traffic that's coming in from anywhere for these three services 22 for ssh 443 for https and then port 80 for http uh, now let's look at how you can deny traffic from specific ip addresses if you have an IP address you want to uh, deny from accessing uh, your system, you can do sudo ufw, ufw deny. Then you'll need to put from, 
and then the IP address you want to deny traffic from let's say 172.16.1 and that should deny traffic just from that specific IP address you can also permit or you can allow traffic from a specific uh, IP addresses you can say sudo ufw allow from from then here you can list the IP address that you want to allow traffic from to and then any and then the, the port or the service that you want to allow that IP address to access uh, another thing you, you can do is you can protect your system from uh, brute force attacks by running this command. You can do sudo ufw ufw limit ssh. So that should protect your system from brute force attacks that are targeting ssh services. And lastly, we can check to make sure that the changes you make are persistent. So you can use the command sudo system ctl status ufw and what we are trying to check is to make sure that the rules we have the ufw rules are going to be persistent even after reboot and what you want to see here is these two enabled and enabled so that's all for this video that's how you can secure your Kali linux by installing and configuring the firewall I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.